overtime here at Old Favorite Friday, where we are continuing a conversation about another wonderful beer. Joel, what are we drinking here? Today we've got Bam Beer by Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales out of Michigan, another uh, favorite from your home state. You know, it was a couple weeks ago that I went out and I picked up like 10 beers from Michigan, and I several of which have been uh, at least breweries. I, I've had a couple uh, people suggest uh, beers from Jolly Pumpkin, but not this particular beer, but this is one that I remember from having years and years ago. So, you know, I'll just give a little bit of love to my, my home state. And I'm happy to finally feature this beer on Old Favorite Friday. And this is a style that we don't do a lot, which is Wild Ales. We've done a couple of them. We did Duchess, we've done some things in the past, but this is an underrepresented style in Old Favorite Friday and a wonderful, wonderful style. It's great. Uh, this definitely reminds me of something we would find at uh, you know, our sister brewery, the, the genius Matt Manthe at Odd Breed Wild Ales. Yeah. Um, this had, you know, this, this oak aged farmhouse ale, I was reading on their website, this has only two hops, but six different kinds of malts. And, you know, for it to be as clean and crisp as it is, and still have all that complexity. I mean, they've really crafted something special here. It's got just enough of that funk for me without giving me all that palate fatigue that, that a, a wild ale might. You know, you mentioned earlier that it wasn't all that tart, and I think that's great. You know, being four and a half percent, being as sessionable it is, and even, you know, back in the day winning a GABF award for session ale, it, it's not just the alcohol content, it's it's the flavor, it's, it's the way it's presented to you, it's not overbearing, you're not gonna get this fatigue from the funk or the tartness or anything. I mean, I feel like this is a beer you could take to the beach. It doesn't have to be a light lager. You could have a, 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 an oak-aged farmhouse ale in a hot setting and really enjoy yourself. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. It's not too much of one thing, and it's incredibly subtle. And you don't you don't need to hit people over the head with the funk in a funky farmhouse beer, and the complexity and the nuances of it are absolutely incredible. I like the aspect of a, a little bit of tartness here. It really it freshens it up, makes it really really crisp, and in general, and also as it warms up, as many beers do. We're, I'm getting a little more expression of yeah. that, that kind of lemon zest and some of the, the funkier aspects. Maybe picking up the oak a little bit more. But it, you said you read about this and only spent like two months in barrel? Two months in oak, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that lemon zest character. I get a lot of that as well as some grapefruit zest. There is a bit of uh, bitterness up front to me from the hops, but it's just the tiniest touch. And then everything else that comes along with it just washes that away. And it's a really pleasant drink. Um, this is the first one I've had in a can from Jolly Pumpkin. You know, normally I'm used to getting the, uh, the old bombers, but um, I really love the minimalist design on the front here. You know, it's got kind of a skull and crossbones thing going on with the pumpkin and the, the hop cone and the, the stalks of uh, wheat or grain there. And, and then you turn it around and it's boom, this big kind of pretty picture uh, or, or drawing and you know, this artwork of the, the dog that the beer was named after. So I really like the label design as well as what's in the can. Yeah, I, I, you mentioned the hop, the, the hop aspect there. I, I think the hardest thing to do is to have all the things that you've mentioned. You talked about the malt, you talked about the, the barrel flavor, you talked about the wild yeast flavor, you talked about the hops. All those things being in concert and all having some kind of expression here with not one jumping over the other one is probably the hardest thing to do in brewing. Oh yeah, right? balance, uh, balance. That balance with that many ingredients. I mean, a lot of people can just, oh, malt, malt and hops. But when you throw in all those extra aspects of, of of this beer and also make it this clean and this drinkable, that's a tour de force, man. That's, that, it, there's a reason why they've won medals at GABF. There's a reason why they have been a, a leader in wild ales in uh, in the in the country, right? Uh, and, and bringing those kind of styles uh, to the U.S., which for years and years we, we didn't see a lot of. So uh, bravo to Jolly Pumpkin. This is a great beer. Uh, we really enjoyed having it. Look forward to picking up. There's a couple other ones that I found here locally and that I'm going to have to run out and, uh, and pick up and share with you, Joel, because I look forward to, tr uh, to trying those as well. Yeah, and it's also, I think, a great gateway beer for people who want to kind of get into this style, but maybe a little bit fearful of it, you know, with some of those things we talked about, with the, the funk or the sourness or whatever. But the low ABV, the approachability of it, it's a home run. 100%. Uh, please go out and check out some Jolly Pumpkin beers uh, for yourself this weekend, and also tell us what we should be trying uh, for Old Favorite Friday next week. Uh, poke around on the YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff so you can see these new videos when they come out from us. Cheers. Cheers.